What weird thing does your body do, that you just accept? My pancreas just refuses to produce insulin. It's really annoying, but what can you do? Voluntarily pillow erection or to put it more cooler. I can raise my hair that is. Have goosebumps at will. At least you can always read the wind direction. I have spinal stenosis. Basically my vertebrae are thickening, and pressing against my spinal cord in my upper neck and lower spine. It causes numbness in my extremities and I have to do special stretches, to help relieve the pressure, but man sometimes I'll sit for a little bit too long, and it's like my feet don't exist. I'll try to walk, but it's like walking on stumps. Back to the stretches, and within 10 minutes the feeling returns. I used to do 100 mile bicycle rides. Now I'm lucky, if I can walk 3 blocks without tripping and falling. Is there no treatment for this? Sounds frustrating. Spinal problems are always hard to deal with. I have exploding head syndrome, which is a lot scarier sounding than it actually is, a sleep phase disorder. Basically, when I'm falling asleep I occasionally hear random phantom noises that startle me back awake. For me, I most commonly hear someone shouting my name, an unintelligible brief yell, knocking on the door, or the doorbell. I've noticed over the years, that it tends to happen mostly, when I'm overtired and or anxious. And I may not have one for months, and then have them every other day for a week. Sometimes when I yawn saliva literally squirts out of my mouth. No idea why, it's kinda weird. I think this is called gleeking. I sat by a kid in freshman physical science class that would gleek on our teacher from about 20 feet away, and the teacher never figured it out, because he was fairly old, and had horrible eyesight. What? The? Actual? Fuck. Did I just read? Some kid in high school would spit on old people who had poor eyesight. I have neurological issues that make me have phantom feelings. For instance the last two days I've had a burning sensation. Like if I backquote de-rested a hot soup bowl on my thigh. But there's nothing there. It can feel like little bug bites, scratches or streaky burns. It's never severe. Mostly just weird to feel a distinct sensation for no reason. Sometimes I'll ask a family member to check for marks. The other day I pulled up my shirt, turned around and asked my mom if there was anything on my back. She was like, oh my goodness, there is. Looks like one of the cats got you. And we were both so weirdly delighted I'd actually been mauled. Lol. Judging by your name, I imagine you know about ticks and Lyme disease. Have you been tested for it? It is Lyme disease. Lol I've been tested using two of the tests and this is one of the weird things it can do. I haven't kept up on it lately. Are there more treatment options on the horizon? Whenever I have to get up early next morning, my brain won't just let me sleep. I'm white and pale af. Normally avoid sun exposure due to not tolerating heat well and skin cancer running in the family. But earlier this summer I spent quite a bit of time in the desert. I got several shades darker, except for a bunch of random spots that are still white. They weren't covered, and had the same amount of sun exposure as the rest of me, but just no color change at all. Biggest spot is on my bicep, but there are random spots everywhere. I've always had a streak like that along my hairline. Hair also grows in white there too that my mom said, was a birthmark. I'm guessing these new spots have always been there too but never apparent, because I avoid sun exposure. Vitiligo. I don't feel dehydrated even though I am. When I was a kid, I've gone whole days without drinking anything. I've just learned to force myself to drink water every hour, until I developed this routine. I never understood how my lips were supposed to feel like as they were always dry. I have this. I have to have a water tracking app now, because otherwise I'd go a couple days without drinking anything. Fine in winter, but in summer I've passed out from it. I will just randomly get a huge chill which looks like a mini seizure. People always ask what's wrong. I also like to get all my shivering dealt with at once. I get ocular migraines sometimes. They're not terribly frequent. Though maybe once in a while they'll be persistent for a week or so. It's a strange experience. No pain. No headache. But an actual blind spot develops in my vision. That appears sort of like a lightning bolt. It hovers there for about 20 to 30 minutes and gradually subsides. I'll tend to feel a bit weird for maybe an hour or two afterward but then back to normal. They seem to be triggered by a combination of poor sleep, dehydration and maybe caffeine plus stress. Have had them off and on for about 10 years probably. Consulted with a couple doctors about it and they've said it's probably nothing to be too worried about unless it starts happening more frequently slash intensely. Till I get ocular migraines. 
I get sharp intense pains on the left bottom side of my ribs randomly. I just suck in air and hope my rib didn't puncture my lung. Sometimes it's when I'm working out. But sometimes I'm literally just standing there and whoops popped a lung. Precordial catch syndrome? Does it worsen when breathing in? I get this. And yes it does. Unfortunately, the only way to make it go sometimes is to breathe in past it. Then it clicks. And the pain is gone. When I yawn and stretch I become blind for a few seconds. Don't know if that's normal. Are you perchance maybe closing your eyes? Haha you would think that but no. I was born with a disorder that makes crossover motion between both sides of my body more challenging. Riding a bike took me a year to master. For context, the hardest thing for me to do autopilot is stairs. Though, if I don't think about it, my body automatically goes one at a time with both feet rather than alternating. Is it more challenging going up or down stairs? Down is easy. Down whilst remaining on his feet is the issue. Sometimes a part of my body just twitches. Shoulder, toe, bicep etc. etc. It stops after a while, but I can never get a good look at it, because if I move my head it stops. Doesn't hurt and only happens every few days. That always happens on my ass cheek for some ungodly reason. I'm gonna need some picture proof. Ick now, for science. I have Alice in Wonderland syndrome. It's a real thing, honest. Basically, sometimes my brain makes me think that I'm swelling up, like I'm being inflated like a balloon, and I feel big, like I'm getting too big for the room. That normally happens when I'm starting to feel sleepy. Occasionally I'll go the opposite way and feel as if I'm being squashed down from above, like a giant hand is pressing me down into the road and everything is towering above me. I can normally ground myself by feeling myself and reassuring my brain that I'm normal sized if it's a big balloon feeling or by staring up at the sky then slowly adjusting to the horizon for a few moments, if it's a squashed small feeling. I think I used to get something like that when I was younger, but it only really happened when I felt sick. It scared the heck out Tammy. Time of the month sometimes skips 2 to 4 months before continuing as normal. I don't even care. I've gone over 2 years without any bit sometimes we'll have them back to back. I have polycystic ovary syndrome. I make a weird croak sound with my throat whenever I yawn. Me too. It's so awkward when I'm in a call, because then the person is or did you just burp? Now I'm a frog. For some reason, every other day my body just shivers like somebody is running their hand down my back. I don't know why, it just happens. This can happen if you're holding for too long before going to the bathroom to pee. Seriously, there is some connection between the muscles to contract your bladder and this involuntary shivers. The piss quiver. I get one time hiccups every now and again. Just to make them a bit more noticeable they sound like someone stepped on a squeaky toy. Or as someone once thought, a ninja bird squawking behind her. It's a great icebreaker if nothing else. It's worse when I get regular hiccups and it sounds like a puppy going to town with its new toy. I get these two. Just a random one hiccup, and then nothing, and people always stare at me, like I'm a freak. No longer accepting it, but for the past 6 years I have had random bouts of really violent projectile vomiting, that last anywhere from 1 to 12 hours with me vomiting every 20 minutes or so. Like just for no reason? There's a reason, surely, but what it is, I couldn't tell you as yet, I quit drinking in hopes that would make it stop, but nah, no luck. Only thing I can correlate to the timing when it started happening is getting a copper IUD. That's getting removed soon. I'm lucky all my friends have been really good about it when it happens. Because I'm sure to someone who doesn't know me, it looks like purging a demonic possession. I subconsciously have my stomach tensed all the time. I have to concentrate to relax it. I do this, but for me, I know why I do it. As a kid I was always told to suck your belly in, and that's it for me. Same here, that dress would look great if you sucked in your tummy. Thanks mom. Yep yeah, pretty much. My palms start to itch and swell if I'm in a crowded place. I used to think it was some kind of allergy, but I'm noticing recently that the swelling starts whenever I'm in places that make me feel uncomfortable. That's anxiety my friend. Hate it. If I focus on my heart I start to freak out. 
In socially stressful situations I feel compelled to find solitude, and I do this weird jazz hand thing, which sounds like stimming. Sometimes I genuinely forget to breathe, if I'm mentally distracted. There's all sorts of weird shit this body does, I give it like a 3 tenths overall. When I eat my jaw does this weird clicking sound. TNJ, I have it too. I've mentioned this in another sub, but I have bipolar disorder, and one aspect of this, and many other disorders is intrusive thoughts. So I'll just be chill and living my life. Feeling fine in my brain will be like, I want to kill myself I wish I were dead I can't do this anymore. And I'll just be like huh, okay, and then go back to what I was doing. That and random repetitive questions. My brain asked me what is your greatest strength multiple times a day for about 2 weeks lol. Oh me too. Sometimes I'll just be washing my hands and I'll look in the mirror and mouth I'm gonna kill you, and then get on with my day. The worst is, when the doctors gave me the wrong drug and I went psychotic, and hallucinated that my hand was in a bowl of chili for what felt like hours. I forget to breathe, and only realize it, when I feel faint, or have the sensation of blacking out. It happens many times throughout the day. Are you secretly an alien trying to blend in with humans? I only poop every 3 to 4 days on average. It's been like this regardless of dietary changes for my entire life. I've had it checked out nothing wrong with me. Just, don't poop often. Longest I went without pooping, was 8 days at 12 years old was on a hunting trip. Just never felt the need to poop. We are driving home from the campsite, and have to pull into a rest stop. Basically filled the toilet it was immense. Thought I was the only one. Every doc I went to couldn't find the reason behind that. Laxatives also don't work, like they are supposed to do. When I breath I can feel a tiny breeze coming out of my ear. If I block my nose, and try to exhale my ears will pop, until they're fully popped, and if I continue I'll force water out of the corner of my eyes, and if I keep going it's eventually just air. Maybe don't do that. If I sit, or lay down for a little while, 10 plus minutes, then stand up. I get really lightheaded and my vision goes blurry for, like, 10 seconds, then I'm back to normal, I think it might be a blood pressure issue, but I still, have no idea what it is, I can do normal activities easily, including biking for miles on end, but apparently I can't stand standing up. Sounds like low blood pressure, 